we're here in Lijiang and we're currently going up or we're about to go up the Jade Dragon Snow Mountain which is right behind me. So we're actually on a tour right now. Initially when we researched it uh, we didn't want to go on a tour, we wanted to make our own way here. However, um, in looking at more research it's quite hard to go by yourself. Um, I can't give exact prices but um, I know a lot of places and a lot of the tickets get sold out because they buy, they give them all to the tour group. So, uh, essentially we went to our hotel last night and we booked ourselves onto a tour so it cost us 480 um, yuan to go on this tour and that includes transport to and from the mountain from our hotel and uh, we actually because we didn't the group the reason why we didn't want to go on a group is because we didn't want to be in a big massive tour but actually we're very lucky that there's only six people on our tour um, they are Chinese and one, luckily one of them does speak English but it's totally fine he just uses WeChat to, tra uh, to translate for us so yeah 481 including transport uh, water we do get jackets but we're not going to wear them um, because we've got our own ski jackets and it includes the entrance to the cable car and obviously up the mountain so follow us as we go up there and hopefully don't get affected by the altitude <laughs> So when you arrive at the car park, uh, there's lots of people trying to sell you stuff. So they literally run over immediately trying to sell you gloves, socks, saying it gets cold up there. So make sure you bring your stuff before. Don't buy that because it can be quite expensive. Um, and yeah, we've got our own. So hopefully we'll be well. Go, go, go. <laughs> We've just got off the cable car and we're currently at 4,500 meters and you can walk up the stairs to get to 4,800 so yeah, if you, when you get here, you might start to feel a little bit lightheaded, but just take your time, slow down and just enjoy it. So, look at that view. So sometimes the wooden path to get up to the top actually is closed due to high winds or too much snow and uh, today we're very lucky it's a beautiful day so we're heading up and oh, you can see I'm out of breath I always thought I'd never be affected by altitude I was I always thought oh you know it'll be fine I'm used to it but I'm gonna be honest I am feeling lightheaded I am out of breath so when you come up here make sure you eat snacks drink lots of water those are the two most important things and take your time so that's what we're doing right now take our time we're gonna try and get to the top You're provided oxygen to get up here and, for example, <laughs> and nearly every single person is using it. We haven't used it today, we've just taken our time and gotten our bodies used to this altitude, but everybody uses it. But the frustrating thing is that they just leave the cans, the empty cans on the floor. Like, right now, I don't know if it's still there, there was a can on the floor and there was a bin literally behind this camera and they still just put it on the floor and it's just, it's, 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 it's
come here and use oxygen, make sure you put it in the bin. That's the best thing for the environment and it's just common courtesy. But yeah, you can make it up here. You can do it easily fine without any oxygen or if you want oxygen, your tour guide will usually give it to you if you go with a tour. If you go by yourself, you can hire oxygen. There's guys walking around um, and there's little stands that also uh, are selling oxygen. So it's your choice, but just enjoy it. that long getting up here but actually getting back down uh, it takes a long time because it's a huge key to get back in the cave car so yeah we've been waiting a while i say long time maybe five ten minutes but you know longer than what you it took to get up here <laughs> just finished the cable car and we're waiting for the next bus to go to blue moon valley not sure what it's going to be like but really excited We've just finished our lunch and it was hot pot. Unfortunately, I couldn't eat it because it was a chicken hot pot and it was in a meat broth, but Mitch enjoyed it and the rest of the people on our tour enjoyed it. I just had some rice and vegetables, but now we're gonna go uh, explore the Blue Valley and hopefully get some good photos. We've just finished our day up the mountain and in the Blue Valley and it was really great. And when I said this morning about a tour and I was a bit worried about a tour, do you know what? It worked out perfectly fine. So we booked it through our hotel, which I'll put the link to our hotel. It was really reliable. There was only six of us and basically you had as much time as possible to do whatever you wanted. So it's been so beautiful, so nice. I really enjoyed it. So put it on your list to visit.